Hi everyone, it's Emily from Naples Botanical Garden and I've decided to get some fresh air today. So I've gone across the street to my local community park, um, although I am practicing safe social distancing, as you should too. And I figured while I was here, I would show you all my favorite, favorite part of this park. So as you can see behind me, we've got this wonderful man-made lake. And for the longest time, this lake had grass that was leading right up to the edge of it. Uh, and we had a lot of problems with algal blooms. So the grass clippings, the fertilizers, the pesticides would actually drain directly into this lake and be food for algal blooms. And luckily, a few years back, um, that was changed. So a littoral zone was installed along the edgeway of this lake, and it's made a huge difference. So a littoral zone, is essentially an area where plants can grow on the margins of the lake in the interface between the water and the solid ground. Uh, plants like Florida leather fern, mooly grass, alligator flag, even shrubs and trees, so things like bald cypress, do really well in a littoral zone. And what they all do together is they kind of work as a team uh, to absorb nutrients. They're, they're a really great natural filtration system. So they're gonna block the physical debris, all of those grass clippings from getting into the lake. They're gonna absorb the runoff from the fertilizer, the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium from getting in there. So they stop all of the things that would feed an algal bloom and we've had a huge, huge increase in our water quality ever since we've had this littoral zone implemented. Uh, but my favorite part of having a littoral zone right in my backyard is the wildlife that it attracts. So before having this littoral zone, you really didn't see much happening in this area. Uh, we are across the street from a highway, which I'm sure you can hear. Uh, but now I come over here, I walk my dogs for 20 minutes, and I can see 20 different species of birds. It's everything from from wading birds to ducks, um, lots of anhangas and cormorants love to be in this water, songbirds, even owls come over here now. Um, and it's really just incredible that change. You also get small mammals, we see otters here a lot, uh, because what they're doing is they're hunting in this littoral zone. So if you're a young fish, a young invertebrate, this is a really safe spot for you. You've got a much better chance at survival by living in a littoral zone than you do in the open water. And so when birds see a littoral zone to them that's sort of a neon flashing a buffet open sign uh, so they flock here they come do their hunting and then I get to reap the benefit by having nature in my backyard um, so next time you are able to safely keyword safely venture out into a natural area check out your local littoral zone uh, sit appreciate it appreciate its beauty and see if you can see some awesome uh, natural wildlife action while you're there so that's it. That's my talk on littoral zones. Uh, please remember to be well and stay planted.